Howdy. News from Finland. The person caught by the guards died in Iso Omena. Iso Omena means Big Apple. Eyewitnesses tell how the woman was revived. Several eyewitnesses tell Ilta Sanomat that the guards approached a woman in the Iso Omena shopping center in Espo. The police confirmed that the person died during the arrest. The police are investigating the course of events. Iso Omena means Big Apple. The police confirmed that one person died at the end of the incident in Iso Omena Espo, Helsinki, Finland. According to the police, the person caught by the security guards of the shopping center had become lifeless in the situation and died despite resuscitation. Resuscitation, however you spell that. The police are investigating the course of events and whether a crime is suspected in connection with the events. An incident happened between a female customer and the security guards and security guards at Aspos Big Apple Shopping Center on Saturday 5 p.m. Eyewitnesses tell Ilta Sanomat. Among other things, Mia Autero from Espo says that she had just come from the toilet when she saw two security guards pushing a woman estimated to be 40 to 50 years old out of a shop. Autero says that the woman did not behave aggressively in the defecting situation. She didn't rage or shake herself. According to Autero, yeah, that's translated by Google, so I try to somehow fill up the spaces. According to Autero, the guards asked the woman to leave the place, but she stated that she was not going anywhere. Then, the guards took a firmer grip on the woman's forearms and knocked her to the ground. The woman screamed and shouted, let go, says Antero, who watched the situation from the side. After that, according to Autero, two to three more guards arrived, after which they sat on the woman lying on her stomach and handcuffed her. At that point, the woman began to scream for help. After that, Autero left for another shop for a while and when re she, he returned, no, she, approximately five minutes later, according to her, masks had already been brought to the scene to cover up the situation. I saw that the woman is already being resuscitated. I shouted that I had to get a deaf one defibrillator, but which the guard said that it is already in use. That's the point had reached last 10 minutes. According to Autero, the resuscitation took a really long time. Finally, according to her, help came to the scene. First the police, then the ambulance staff. They started CPR and the police questioned the eyewitnesses. The helicopter crew also came to the scene at some point. According to Autero, the situation, which lasted an estimated 40 to 50 minutes, ended with everyone running out of time. Now, the hurry ended. The hurry ended for everyone. She was dead. So we are reading news from today from Finland. Somewhere in a shopping center there was a problem. Obviously it was this kind of clothing store. There has been guards and something really bad happened. Now, we are still in winter. There is many things going on around the globe. For example, Finland has loaded its crop uh, storage quite much, very much. 
maybe more than usually. Maybe they know that next year or no, this year, it might be a little bit harder to get more crops if our, what is it, crop uh, production here in Finland don't match up with the needs, so we probably have to buy somewhere else. <laughs> Where to buy? Which means the food could get, in a way, more expensive. More expensive than previously thought, which wouldn't be any surprise to me at all. If the food prices are skyrocketing, maybe you cannot buy any more as much as you want to, even though you would have the money. You just can buy two liters of milk, despite you could afford ten, but you would, they won't give you any more what you want to what you can afford. You get what you get, because it's supposed to be enough for everyone. This could induce quite a big amount of stress into society, which means in a few months, maybe already, maybe earlier, <laughs> there could be a possibility that they have to put guards in every food shop because people are in stress. So now that's already the second thing in a rather short time that security guards are in bad news because they were treating people badly. No, I'm not a conspiracy theorist or whatsoever. I was just thinking about things. So now, imagine, that's the second time in a very short time that there are really bad news about security guards. And soon, probably, there is a security guard or two or three or more at every food shop. I think, at the moment, it's in a way, boiling in society here, especially with this kind of news. What do you think it feels in a few months or weeks when you go to a grocery store to get your milk for the kids and stuff like that, and you see security guards standing there. What do they think when they see you coming? How relaxed the whole shopping trip will be, despite it might be very stressful anyways, because you really have to count your money and hope that the things you need are actually in the shop available. This is just some really bad combination of bad energy amplification throughout security, throughout the authority system. Because you can probably think that the security guard protecting the shop where you try to buy your milk, is probably, after his work shift ends, in the exact same situations as you are, he or she has to really think that, yeah, what do I eat today? Do I eat anything? Can I afford food? So he or she might be stressed as well. Because food is something which everybody needs. It doesn't matter if you are a king, queen, president, minister, a working man, a working woman, a teacher, professor, or whatsoever. We are equal. Everyone needs food. And if the food needs to be protected in the near future because the stress 
or the amount of stress in society of the people which are probably hungry and now with this pairing up of those security guards messing up things that's the second time in a rather short time and there are already many people involved in that authority violence yeah very interesting times yeah, something is ramping up and that's still fresh news since it happened in the shopping mall there will be quite much material emerging with picture and sound do we have another I can't breathe yeah what kind of times you're living in I don't know that's crazy so stay away from people as much as possible thank you bye